Okay, hi guys, Shocker Cyclone here, and uh, we've been exploring the Citadel a bit. We have to scan keepers, which are funny little, uh, funny little, like, uh, okay, there's one right over here. We have to scan these things. I think there's like 21 around the Citadel that we gotta scan. And we get paid for it in both money and experience, so. But I think I gotta talk to this one first. Welcome, I am Nalina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Clients? Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Uh... Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Um... What do you do here, Nolina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. Hmm. I'd like to try out your services. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in... Mm, three or four months. Really? Um... Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> Well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name, and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people, and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. Hmm. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish uh -oh. to speak with him. Yes, of course, mistress. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Uh, sure. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Um. Well, I'm not in a relationship yet. <laughs> I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. An hour here is better than a year on leave. If only I could afford to come more often. Ooh. No questions now. I'm trying to relax. Okay. Big place. Yeah. This place is a little too perfect. Like they're hiding something. Okay. Oh. This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. I'd spend all day here if I could. Isn't this place terrific? Yeah. Welcome. It is a pleasure to see you. Okay. They won't talk, but you talk. You're with the Alliance. My brother's a private back on Earth. Oh. Huh. Pretty sure that's Cree Summers. Okay. Let's go talk to this woman. That is close enough, Commander. Oh, crap. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our Citadel. What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some, comfort to others. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out, 
Now he spends his days in Cora's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. Ooh. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. All right. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Okay. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Yeah, okay. Uh, so now that we're done here, uh, we have to... Harkin is at uh, Korra's Den too, so uh, we gotta go there anyway, but there is someone in this area we gotta talk to anyway for the Shadow Broker stuff. Goodbye. Loading, loading. Is it over here? Is he over here? He's either down here or up there, I'm not sure where. No, he's not over here, but there's a keeper here. Can we get to the keeper to scan him? Uh, Mr. Keeper! Gotcha! Uh, ooh. Oh no, I think this was the right way. Emporium Shopkeeper. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Who are you? This one's face name is Delan Inder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Delan! <laughs> Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Um, if you guys are wondering why I'm finding that funny, it's because this game is supposedly based heavily on Babylon 5, and I do see it, and uh, there's a character named Delan. And, um, she is actually a little bit like the Asari. Except with uh, hair from season two onwards. What exactly do you sell? Only the finest and most luxurious items that credits can buy. This one is able to procure almost any item the human would desire. For a price, naturally. Naturally. Why do you refer to yourself as this one and it? For the same reason that humans are so inquisitive, it is part of our culture. Specifically, Hanar only refer to themselves in the first person with family or intimates. And we rarely do so with other species. It is just our way. Okay. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply... Yeah, he already told us this. Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Okay, he really wants to sell us something. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Okay, we got non-human armors, upgrades, and standard items. Let's take a look at standard items. Just stares at them. <laughs> okay, Firestorm 6. Uh, yeah, all these are like way too much for us. Uh, oh, license. Uh, yeah, we are going to need that. Yes, we are. Biotic amp. Uh, only 600, but that'll eat up like half of our stuff. What do we have to sell? Um, medium armor. Uh, Seriously, medium armor is like 22 bucks. That's how much I can get for it. 18. Okay. Uh, I think most of this stuff I'm just going to hold on to. Um. Cut. Uh, I meant to hit E and like Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? 
Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Okay, I want to view the upgrades because there's a certain type of ammo that I'm looking for. It's like my favorite type of ammo. And what do we got? Combat sensor, hammerhead rounds, radioactive rounds. No. No, because we are looking for... See what kind of rounds we have. Uh, armor piercing rounds, one. That's it? That's all we have for, for ammo. Shit, okay. No, sorry, dude. I am looking for incendiary rounds because I like burning my guys to death. I do. Oh. Gotcha. Okay, um... Yeah, we went the wrong way. Surprise, surprise. Shocker went the wrong way. How many times have I done this in uh, Mass Effect now? Like, oh. Ooh. Oh, no. I did not go the right way. I just didn't go far enough. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. I'm famous? It is a great honor to welcome the heroes of the Blitz. Oh, of the Blitz. You've right. got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. Um. I've heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. I hear your information can be expensive. Normally, this information would cost a small fortune. But these are exceptional circumstances. So I am going to give it to you for free. Awesome. What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business. Until Saren turned on him. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's what happens when you deal with a traitor like Saren. No matter what you think of Saren, he's not stupid. He knows the Shadow Broker is a valuable ally. Turning on him doesn't make sense. Not unless something huge was at stake. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. Oh... That's not much to go on. I just told you that the most famous specter in the galaxy betrayed the Shadow Broker. Quite a bargain, considering the price. Speak with the Krogan if you want to learn more. I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. Isak. If you hurry, you might catch him before he leaves the Academy. Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with Sisek? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. Okay, what is there to investigate? Oh. Tell me more about your job. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. A mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. I'm an expert in how all these economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted attention. Discreet and efficient. That's my motto. Mm-hmm. Sounds pretty shady. Yep. Everything I do falls completely within the bounds of interstellar commerce law. Even so, many of my clients would prefer their transactions remain undisclosed. For example, suppose a Hanar ambassador was petitioning the council to reduce tariffs on Hanar goods. How would it look if he had money invested in a Hanar exporting company? Even if his true motives were to help his people, he would be accused of advancing the petition for his own personal gain. I can keep his personal finances private. Mm-hmm. Still sounds shady to me. Then we can only hope he will never be cursed with a large enough fortune to require my services. All right. 
Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. Most people think I deal in finances, but my real currency is knowledge. I trade information, and it has made me very wealthy. But the Shadow Broker is the true master. Every day he buys and sells secrets that could topple governments, always giving them to the highest bidder. Yet somehow he never seems to upset the natural balance of power. All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. Nobody ends up with an advantage in the end. Any guess what his identity might be? I don't know. Nobody does. A shadow broker could be any race, any gender. I have a theory that it's actually an entire group working under one identity. How else could they juggle so many contacts at the same time? How else could they keep all that information from getting crossed? But they've got the perfect setup. Every government is forced to play their game so they don't get behind. But no matter how long you play, no matter how many secrets you buy, you can never win. I thought you'd know more about the man you work for. From time to time I come across information I sell to the Shadow Broker. That's my only involvement. I like it that way. The more you know, the more dangerous the game becomes. I don't like danger, Commander. I'll leave that to you. <laughs> What's it like living here on the Citadel? The station is, without a doubt, the greatest wonder in the galaxy. It is a technological marvel, but its true splendor goes much deeper than the hull and engines. This thing has engines? From the Presidium to the wards, the entire station is a testament to the success of the Council. All the species of Citadel spaced together in a single strong community. What makes the Presidium so special? It is the political center of Citadel space. 80% of all intelligent species in the known galaxy acknowledge the Council's authority on interstellar matters. But only the most powerful and influential species have embassies here on the Presidium. This level of the station is reserved for the elite, Shepard. People like us. What are the words like? The cultural heart of the galaxy. They pulse with the lifeblood of millions of citizens from dozens of different species. You never know what you'll find down in the wards, Commander. It's always full of surprises. Fortunately, most of them are pleasant. Okay, I think that's it. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Okay. So I think now we have to go to CSEC. Um, and I think that's over yeah. Citadel Tower? Oh, no. No, definitely not Citadel Tower. And there's no point in, like, getting a, uh, yeah, we gotta go to the academy. And there's no point in getting a, um... Let's just call it a cab, rapid transit, because it'll... By the time it takes to load, we'll be there anyway from, like, walking speed. Uh, it's so different seeing, like, this armor again, since I've been playing, like, three. Because, uh... It's like so bulky and like actual armor like. Ew. Oh crap. No. No, I gotta go down. Yeah, embassies are on the top, C sex on the bottom. Look at this guys, another elevator. And a loading screen. <laughs> At least it makes your face like the way you gotta go anyway. And no one's talking. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Great. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected.
Actually, this is alright, because we can actually get to the wards from here anyway. Okay, first, just... Oh. First, let's load. And now let's just take a little quick look for some keepers. Yeah. I know there is one around here, but I don't have to go for that till later. Oh, no. Hello. Gotcha. Okay. That's the requisition officer. Don't need to hard talk to him yet. Okay, so... Okay, I could have sworn that... Oh. Oh. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. Dude. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. <laughs> you want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Yes, human. I'm trying to bring down Saren. Bar Levon said to talk to you. I think. Bar Levon is a wise man. We may share a common goal, human. Enlighten me. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korath's den, a man named Fist. He did something very foolish. He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A quarian showed up here on the Citadel. She was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. What does Saren have to do with this? Well, the Corian has something that connects Saren to the Geth. He paid Fist a small fortune for her. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. Yep. And the Council will have to listen to us. Where's the Quarian now? Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. I want to know more about your employer. Can't tell you much. All I got was a coded message with the details of the job. Standard procedure. What about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down, too. He might come in handy. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. Okay, the med Move clinic. Out. Yep. Okay, so... Ashley, you're coming, and Rex. Definitely bringing you. Look at our combat strength, man. It's like through the roof. And he's also a biotic, so that's good. But our tech strength is like way down, so hopefully we don't have to scan anything. Yes, confirm squad collection. Selection. Collection. Hey, look at him. Hey. Every time I visit the Citadel, CSEC brings me here for a friendly chat. <laughs> if CSEC were oh. better at its job, there'd be no need for bounty hunters like me. Yeah, I was going to talk to Ashley. This sex seems more like a military operation than a police force. Yep. Okay, so now I believe we got to go to the wards. But that'll come later. Um, just a sec, I got to figure out where... Right. No, we do got to go to the wards. I was trying to remember where Garrus is because I want Garrus here. Sure is quiet. And they even have elevator music in the future. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's like jamming in my headphones right now.
Okay. So, if I went down the right... Oh, God, that sounds so bad. If I uh, went to the same place, I... Oh, Officer Lang. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? Yeah. I was on Mindwar during the Blitz. Saw you on the vids when you got your medal. You saved the whole colony. Looks like you have a fan. I'm I have sorry, a lot of fans. I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang. Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens. Like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. Okay. How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. Okay. What do you know about the Spectres? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like them too much. Figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the council wouldn't use them, right? Uh-huh. Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. Yeah. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you oh. around, Commander. Gotcha. I probably am going to say that, like, all the time. I know it's going to sound, like, so bad, but I am. Where are they? Okay. Yeah, I don't know where they are, so I'm gonna go over here because I have to go to the uh, mid clinic anyway. I figure I'd owe you guys this. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doug. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or. Who are you? Let her go. Yep. Okay, where are they? Where are they? Oh, there they are. Hello? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, one thing about Mass Effect 3 is on, like, um... On, like, uh, casual mode, it's, like, so freaking easy. This is why I need better shit. Area secured. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Minute gel me. Okay. Did that heal me? Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Um What were you thinking? You could have hit the hostage. There wasn't time to think. I just reacted. I didn't mean to. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. I know those men threatened you. But if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. The one I told you about, Shepard. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. We need to get her. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. Uh, Garrus, you're in the or Rex, you're in the way. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. 
Yep. Fist is going to be waiting for us. When we hit him, we better hit him hard. All right. So we'll bring Rex and Garrus. Gives us at least a little bit more of both, plus a, like a lack of combat strength. So Rex, meet Garrus. Garrus, meet Rex. You guys are going to be great friends. All right. So before I go, because I want to end it right here. Um, increases weapon damage by two. I will take that. Yes, I will. Oh, store discount and intimidate. Um, like I said, those are going to unlock more um, options in dialogue, which is good. Okay, Garrus, we got ten, so we'll give you... I hate to say this, I really, really, really don't like taking Tally along on things. I'm going to max your uh, damping unlocks. Yeah. Sabotage and like this. And uh, okay, what do we need to unlock overload or unlock with electronics? Did it say? I'm just looking. Oh, first aid. Okay, well, we'll go into first aid. Because trust me, like, I like a little bit more leeway when it comes to, like, missions because Tally is, well, yeah. So, Rex, uh, let us go into a little bit of, like, three of these. I know you like shotguns, but we'll get there. Uh, combat armor. Three of these. Shield boost. Um, and then warp. Uh, and then one for battle master. Okay. Now let's take a look at equipment. I think I'm good. What do you guys got? Just a Lancer. Really? I thought I had more assault rifles than that. Shotguns. What do you got for pistols? Dude, take the edge. Uh, equip. Sniper rifle. Oh, all you have is the Avenger. Poor guy. No Omni tools and no armor yet. Okay. Rex, what you got? Again, a Lancer. Uh, shotguns. I will give you a much better shotgun. Because if you've played Mass Effect before, you know he likes the shotguns. And I'll give you a better pistol too. What the heck? If a rifle, you're not for biotic amp. Okay, we're done. All right. Uh, I will play for a little bit more, but that'll come in like a next part, which I will do pretty quick. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. It's probably been a little bit longer than I would have liked, but like I said, I am trying new stuff, and hopefully it's actually going to be uh, a decent length, which is not going to be a too terrible long upload time. So, see you guys. Tracker Cyclone out.